Welcome back everybody. We are going to work on the beam replacement up here. Um, as you can potentially tell, this is all sagging. And so we will take out all these posts. We will take out the arch and then we will put a new beam up or a beam right underneath the two top plates and then we'll put the arch back up. So first thing is we'll take the two arches off the two arches we want to keep not because we're going to put them back up the exact same way but i want to trace the arch afterwards on the new arch pieces that we're going to use so i need to make sure they don't break too much So the next step before we take anything out is when we need to support this section before we take the beams out. <clears throat> we might even have to push it up a little bit because it is sagging. So I'm going to use the post that we used for the basement fix where we had the joist and we're going to push the whole ceiling up a little bit. So I had to build up the post a little bit because it's otherwise not long enough to go all the way up there and give plenty support. So we are using 2x4 material and 2x6 material that we had left over from taking out of the wall or other short studs. Um, it's all nailed together. I put in nails in each layer so that it won't go anywhere, it doesn't rack, it's all one solid piece. So we shouldn't have any issues with it supporting the beam. So next step is to take this support all out. I am not taking the top plate all the way up on top out. There's a double 2x4 up there that's gonna stay and I'm going to just replace the bottom part underneath it so that we have more stability up onto the top plate. Now that we've removed all the screws and nails and stuff that was sticking out in the bottom here, I want to compress the gaps here a little more. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put structural screws through the, the joint here and t t uh, suck it a little tighter. I used some really long screws, 8 inch long screws and went all the way through the two top plates up into the joist. And I did that at this joist also here and over here. So this should really hold this all together 
And now I can put the beam underneath the whole section here. We need to make some posts that go on the side. We have it temporarily up there. So we need to get the right length for the posts and put them up. I can't just use normal two x four stud material because two x four is three and a half wide and one and a half, one and a half inches thick. So. <laughs> The next step is to remove the temporary support and put an actual stud underneath it that will support the beam long term. So let's go measure it and then we'll cut our piece and it will be one of those studs that we took uh, where we plane it down so we have a di different width. So now it should be the same width as the package up there so it will be fitting all nicely and our half inch plywood on each side will finish it up to be exactly four inches. So this side it's a little harder. You can see we got an inch gap right here because of the bent and sagging joists over here. So what we have to do is we'll make the stud longer than what it measures and we'll just try to lift it up with the stud.
So we cut the arch to size, now we need to mount it. So here's the detail why I made that stud, why I planed it down. So you can see here, I hope it shows up on the camera, there's a half inch lip right here and also on the other side. So I mounted the board that is half inch wide on the outside of that stud, which was the same width as the beam up there, but that puts us right in parallel with the original studs. So up there you can see we are actually parallel, besides obviously that cutout that they had before. But now we are in parallel, so when we put drywall and everything over, it's all the same width of that whole arch, so you won't realize that we fixed this arch.
it's another one of those one weekend projects. I wish all the little things were all this way where I can start on Saturday, be done on Sunday with the project and just move on. But unfortunately, it's just not what it is. But luckily this week was like this. I got the arch completely rebuilt. We had a sag of about inch and a half that I was able to suck back up. I have maybe a quarter of an inch now left and I'm okay with that. It is much more stable. The whole beams and joists up there are not gonna go anywhere now. They have much more support than before and I don't think we'll ever have problems with this again. Well, I hope everybody has a wonderful week and I see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.